One of the areas I never talk about in Northwest Arkansas is South Fayetteville, but that changes today. So today we're covering just that, South Fayetteville. All the changes, all the improvement, and how South Fayetteville is going to explode in population, growth, and investments in the next five years. So, let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the dumpster fire, the horrible, the hellscape, the no good place of Chicago, Illinois the worst. Anyways, I could have moved anywhere I wanted to in America. I could have moved to Utah. I could have moved to Huntsville. I could have moved to Chattanooga, Knoxville, Golden, Boulder, Boise. Didn't make a difference. I could have moved there, but I chose Northwest Arkansas. By far the best place to live in America. By far. If you ever want to talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, let me know. Let's meet up for coffee. Let's meet up for the area. Let's jump on a phone call. Talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else in America. Literally. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, we're going to break this video down into three different sections. The first section is going to be Southeast Fayetteville. Great. The second one is going to be just South Fayetteville, and the other one is going to be Fayetteville Elkins. So without further ado, let's jump right into Southeast Fayetteville. All right, so the first thing I want to do is actually jump over to my screen, and then I want to actually kind of show you what's happening in some of the South Fayetteville parts. So let's jump, let's jump over there right now. All right, see my screen. The first thing I want to, pay I want to point out is that MLK Boulevard right here runs through the heart of Fayetteville. The majority of it stops right here and it comes north on College Avenue all the way through here. Okay, we got that. The thing that's always stopped the growth of South and, and actually East Fayetteville has been this road right here, Huntsville Road. It kind of stops and goes, okay. So there's churches, there's houses right on the road right here. And so they've never been able to expand this road. It's only a two lane road. It gets quite, we'll say, a lot of cars pass through there, let's say that way, and it gets a little bit slow on speed. Anyways, long story short, a, lot, a couple years back, they actually decided to create this road, 16th road. They started expanding this. This all goes out to Elkins, which we'll talk about later. But this road actually became like a, almost like a three lane all the way to a five lane road. So it's very, very wide, fast flowing, and a lot of traffic comes through here now. The thing I want to point that is going to be kind of the, the, the hitch, the core of all this, is this road right here, 15th Street. So it goes 16th to 15th is eventually gonna either do two things. The first thing is either it's for sure gonna extend this way, cut over 49, and then get, hook up to MLK over on this side. MLK is gonna be redone in the next year or so. Once at once Weddington is done, you're, if you if you don't live here, you're like, what is going on here? This is all being redone as we speak. MLK is gonna be redone here, that's next on the list. 15 streets gonna come across, hook up to MLK, or in another option is going to be 15 trees and to come down here and be its own, essentially its own exit. I assume it's gonna be its own exit just because the amount of traffic that's gonna be coming through here. So that's my opinion. Once this actually transpires, once this connection happens, it's going to allow so much development happening, it's not gonna really start for about three to five, maybe seven years tops, tops, but it is coming down the pipeline. So this actual Southeast part of Fayetteville right here is going to do very well for itself because of the fact of a lot of the traffic that has been that has been caught right here is going to have a huge easy access from right here to over here. So from an investment standpoint, we're going to talk about the south here in a second, but this whole southeast corridor is going to do very well for itself in the next two years because, and a lot of lands are been purchased, a lot of developers are building homes with the anticipation this is coming down the pipeline. A lot of this over here is being developed with new homes, but a lot of this land over here, the Southeast Fayetteville, is going to be primed and ready for development because of the fact that of just this huge intersection that's being developed. And I do admit, just because this whole thing has been a slowdown, like do people stop, people really do, they do stop. They're like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with the traffic going through here. A lot of times, I'm looking back at my screen right now, uh, a lot of times they'll head up north and cut over here to 49. So there's a lot of other ways, but once this actual gets connected, it's going to be a game changer for Southeast Fayetteville. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to come down here. Maybe you're looking to check the place out. I made itineraries day by day, city by city, thing by thing for the whole entire area. So maybe you're an adventurer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sites here, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. I have a three day itinerary linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them and use them when you get down here. 
And also, maybe you are looking to move down here. Maybe you're using things like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, or Redfin. Way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is, literally. It's Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below. Name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Let me know all the information below. And I'll make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in North Arkansas. Also, every single Friday, I send an email just kind of talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. What's going on downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? When is first Fridays? When is first Thursday? What new business are moving here? What new mountain biking thing? What new... There are so many things going on all the time, every single weekend in North Arkansas. Enter your name below, enter your email below. I make sure you get that email every single Friday, but I want you to be aware. I want you to just kind of give you a heads up. You will get a little fear of missing out, a little, um, we'll say, FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to North Arkansas. And the second place you need to focus on is actually truly the south end of Fayetteville. Let me jump over to my screen real quick and I'll show you what's going on here so we can kind of see what's happening in the south end of Fayetteville. All right, so over on my screen, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, let me orientate ourselves what's going on here. So we have 16th Street, 15th Street, same thing, Highway 16. This is where all the improvements have been happening, roads have been expanding, etc. Eventually, we're going to have a connection point over to 49. But th this whole area right here is ripe for development, right here. Now, there's a couple roads that lead down there, and once they start getting more we'll say development on 16th Street and we start seeing businesses, we start seeing more homes being developed and maybe redone to some extent, we're gonna start seeing this creeping down to the south end of Fayetteville. All this land right here is just ripe for development, like I said. The nice thing that I kind of like about the south end of Fayetteville is that Lake Wilson, not the prettiest of lakes, but I should say it's very pretty, but it's a gravel roads, very secluded, a little bit hard to get there, but it is gorgeous lake. It's kind of in a bowl, and there's a couple trail systems around there. Around there. There's some gravel roads that people hang out at, but some kind of, sometimes college students, so oof, that might go to the wayside in the future. But regardless, Lake Wilson is very pretty. You have that. There's no beach down there, but it's kind of like you can put your kayak there and kayak around, so very pretty. But regardless, the south end of Fayetteville has some good things going for it. The thing that is biggest disadvantage is that the only way to get to Anything is jumping on 71 right here over to 49, 49 this way. Once we have this connection point from 16th Street to South End Fayetteville, it's going to be a game changer for that whole area. And because really at the end of the day, let's say you built a subdivision down here somewhere, they have to take these rows all the way up here, all the way through here, all the way to 16th Street, and then all the way up here. So it's just a long drive to get to anything. Once we start seeing these connection points happening over here, once we maybe reduce these roads over here potentially, and you're gonna start seeing expansion, then you're gonna see a lot of land being uh, redesigned, redone in some subdivisions or larger scale homes, like meaning an acre or two or three acres being developed. That is going to be a majority of South End of Fayetteville. So excited about that because South End Fayetteville has been kind of drastically ignored. There's some kind of mountains over there that kind of make it a little bit more interesting, but regardless of all that, South End Fayetteville is going to do very well for itself in the next couple of years. And the third spot we need to talk about when it comes to Fayetteville is actually the connection between Fayetteville and Elkins. Now, notoriously, notoriously, I have been avoiding Elkins. And the reason being is because there's really no good way to get from Elkins to 49. But that really has been changed in the last probably six months or so. So if you spend any time in Fayetteville, especially in the South End, and you're driving to Elkins, I'm going to jump over to my screen right now uh, so we can see what's going on here. Is the fact let me orientate ourselves real quick so we have 16th street we have 15th street this cuts across here this extended highway over here all if you drive down all of 16 all the way down to elkins you will tell that they are running sewer systems and they're running water from fayetteville down this huge area fayetteville knows that in the near future next three to five to seven years they need to expand their all those different systems if you go down there right now they are in big development to make sure that those resources are there for when new things come down the pipeline, new land, new developments, new commercial potentially, whatever it is that Fayetteville has the resources to do this. So if you go down here again, this is all being redone and eventually going to stretch all the way down to Elkins. So a lot of this land that sits around uh, Lake Sequoia over here, over down over here, these are all ready for once everything's hooked up and ready to go. All these land could be eventually commercial potentially, they could be residential, whatever the case is, it's gonna allow for so much development. And again, I've been 
completely honest with people, like there, if there's no way, there's no good way to get to Elgin's 249, that's a long drive. But with the new expansion of roads, with the new expansion of, of uh, sewer systems, and all these different things coming down the pipeline, that tells me Fayetteville's seeing the future, they're developing the future, they're putting the right resources in place, therefore allowing development to happen, which means that they're ready for this next kind of highway, so to speak, to be developed, which it's being developed is done, and the connection to happen to 49, once that takes place, it's going to allow for so much free-flowing traffic development from Elkins area all the way to 49, which is a game, it's almost going for the reversal of Prairie Grove to Elkins, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So, and what people do every single day, people live in Prairie Grove, they live in Farmington, and they drive to Bentonville for Walmart, or they live in Elkins and they, they actually work in Fayetteville. Fayetteville has a large, quite a, obviously, plenty of business over in Fayetteville. But regardless of all of that, Fayetteville is growing, they're seeing the expansion, they're growing the at highway over from Elkins to actual 49, and it's going to be literally change the makeup of the area, especially on that south end of Fayetteville. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to Northwood, Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the cool things in Northwood, Arkansas. It comes with a 120 page guide, city by city, what is the population like, what is the medical like, all the things, all the schools, like everything you want to know about every single city comes right in a package, comes with my three day itineraries, comes with postcards, comes with stickers, it comes with all the different goodies you want to know about Northwest Arkansas, boop, 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 package. Literally shipped right to your home, right to your home, enter your name below, enter your address below, I'll make sure you get the package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so... That's pretty cool. And, and, and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's my favorite folder F word. Free! So enter your information below and make sure to get the package shipped to you right away. And when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. Alright guys, that's the next one.